My name is Jared Polin, and I'm a photographer. And if there's one thing I've learned over the years is that networking is the key to success. So I wanted to see how far photography could take me simply by word of mouth. Who will I meet? Where will I go? And what will happen next? Well, there's only one way to find out. Welcome to Six Degrees of Photography. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. And on the last episode, I got to spend the day with up and coming musician, Maddie Noyes. Now, when we left the episode, you didn't know who I was gonna go to next. Who was she gonna connect me with? Well, she connected me with a guy by the name of Stefan Macchio, who is a big time producer who's worked with some huge artists. He co-wrote Wrecking Ball with Miley Cyrus, and he's also in LA, and that's where we pick up this photo story inside his studio. Now, most of this story is gonna take place inside of the studio, which I equated to being like the womb, because when you're in the studio, you are focused on just what's happening inside. There's no windows, you can't hear what's going on outside because it's acoustically sound, and you are just focused on creating when you're there. So Stefan had me come in for the day because he had two writers coming in. He was doing two co-writing sessions, and that's where we picked this up. I've never seen a writing session, to be honest with you. These are generally very closed off sessions because the writers don't want you there as an outsider because they're coming up with the ideas that then turn into songs and usually they don't want people interrupting. But because Stefan said Jared should be here, he's gonna get some great stuff, you won't even know he's here, well, Everybody was cool with me being there, and that's why I was able to get the cool candid shots that I was able to start capturing. Uh, Stefan starts playing the piano. He's trying to find the music, and then the co-writer, she's trying to find the song, trying to find the lyrics, and they're just throwing stuff against the wall. It is a really cool process that if you ever get the chance to watch somebody co-write, it is well worth it. I found myself behind Stefan's piano quite often, and in this one photo, I saw my own reflection, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show me, the photographer, in the reflection and get Stefan singing happily in the background. Now, I know some people will say, well, as the photographer, you're not supposed to be seen, but I like some of the classic images where you see these classic photographers in the background of the images, and that's why I saw the reflection, wanted to get me in there, and wanted to get Stefan in there as well. So as we move on, Stefan was taking a quick break, and I saw him sitting here just thinking contemplatively, and I'm like, I gotta get this. And so I, I go vertical, I get this nice black and white shot, and that also led to the next image where Stefan talked about he, he loves his family, he loves his kids, but his other babies are his pianos. And this shot, being that it's horizontal, is you have him on the right-hand side, and then out of focus, you have his two pianos in the background. And, and this personifies who he is. He's, he's a thinker, he's a writer, he's a musician, he's a lover, and then he loves his pianos, and they're in the background of this image and also just his hair. He's recognizable because of his hair. Seeing the shadows on the wall of the grand piano and his hair really makes for an awesome shot. And you know, there's those times where in a writing session that they can't figure out what to do. They hit a roadblock. Where are they gonna go next? And that's when Stefan popped his head down on the keys of the piano and was like, ah, what are we doing? but I was there to capture that. Uh, and, and that's what you do as a candid photographer. You're just observing the world and capturing it. And, and the fact that, that they allow me into the world is definitely a plus and a win. So during another break, they opened up one of the doors which let in this light from outside. And I was just like, Stefan, you gotta stand here. I gotta get some photos with this natural light because up until then, I was working with just what was in the room from the artificial light. And this gave us some, uh, some light from outside, which ended up being pretty good. And like I said earlier, the, the reflections, I'm big on reflections. And what's really cool in this shot is that you have the reflection of who he's co-writing with in the piano. You have a shadow of Stefan with his hair put up in the background on the wall and, and and it really makes for a cool shot. So after they they wrote down a bunch of lyrics, it was time to lay down some tracks. They were gonna go ahead and track it. And the way that the studio is set up, you've got a room with the piano, then you've got the wall, and then you've got another area where the microphone is 
and somebody can do vocals. They usually pull the door shut and this was the time where I had my Nikon D5 and you could hear the shutter as I was taking pictures, the audio would pick it up. This is where in the future, having a silent shutter capability or an electronic shutter is definitely gonna come in handy. But the shot of them laying down these vocals, these, these shots are great. And then you get to the shot where they're listening back to the vocals and seeing, does it sound good? And, I, and that's why I really like this black and white shot because you get the other parts of the story in here. They're listening back to the song. You've got people in the background and they're like, hmm, is this good or is this not good? And then Stefan sits down at the console and these are the classic shots of a producer because Stefan spends so much time inside of the studio and that's what's uh, really fitting about this entire photo story is that it mostly happens inside of this womb, this creative space. And just getting these shots of him sitting at the console, they're, they're powerful, they're classic. Now, I know that I said we spent a lot of time inside the studio. Now, I really mean we spent a lot of time in the studio and around the studio, but not really venturing far. After the first lunch break, Stefan wanted to go outside and take some photos in the parking lot, but he wanted to roll the piano outside. So he got some help, rolled his piano outside, set it up in front of these like barn doors, and I started shooting some of these portraits. Now, I really like how these turned out. The only thing I don't like in these images right here, this image, the metal sticking out that's like kind of out of the top of his head from the door hinges in the background. But my focus still goes to him and goes to the out of focus piano. One of the things that I did creatively was I got to a lower angle and used Stefan's head to block the hinges in the background so that they wouldn't be a distraction. I love this portrait. It's Stefan, it's thinking, he's got the hair, he's got the piano blown out of focus, and you got the barn doors out of focus. All of this is done right inside of the parking lot at the studio. And it's just amazing what you can do when you find the light and you find the images. Same thing, the reflection on top of the piano as Stefan is leaning there. Uh, it just, it leads to a powerful image. And then again, it brings me to this portrait, the Nikon 105 1.4 that has become a staple of the Six Degree Project where every person except for the first one that I photographed gets photographed with this style of portrait. And that's what ends up being on the cover of this book and the other books. It's, it's a powerful portrait of Stefan. The hair means a lot to him. Just the way that it looks, this is, this is a great portrait and I'm really happy with how that one turned out. Now, you can't forget about his babies, the piano. Now, being that the piano's outside and it's rarely outside, let's get some portraits of the piano by itself. This could be a photo in one of his next albums. It could be a great social media type of photo. Pretty much anything that you can think of, this is a really cool shot of his piano because it means so much to him that it had to be in this photo story. Now, before we head back inside for writing session number two, I wanna thank Squarespace for being the sponsor of this episode. And if you'd like to see a website built using Squarespace, go to frotostories.com. Now, if you're looking to build your very own website, go to squarespace.com slash photo to get a 14 day free trial to see if you like it. And if you decide that you do, use the code photo at checkout to save 10% off your first order. Now let's get to writing session number two. So now it's time to jump into the second writing session of the day. He had Hudson Thames in there who was writing a song called Last Call. And when I heard the, the, the chords from the piano play and Hudson sing, I knew that this song was gonna be huge. And how huge is it? It's not even out yet at the time of recording this, but when it does come out, I'm calling it. I think this is gonna be a great song. So they had another co-writer in there helping them out and they just all sat around the piano or played dueling pianos because everybody played the piano and they were just throwing lyrics out there and the hook sounded fantastic. And anytime I have a piano in a room, you know how the, how the lid stays open? Well, that makes for a natural frame to shoot between, and that's why I got this shot of Stefan just between the frame of the piano. Now, you wouldn't really be able to tell it's that unless I told you that, 
but as part of a larger photo story, I definitely think it works out. I don't think it could stand on its own, but I think it works in this situation. So here's Hudson in black and white, playing around with the piano, singing the chorus. I mean, as it gets later and later in the day, everybody's drinking more and more wine, except for me because I'm shooting. And it's just, this is their style. This is what they do. They lock themselves away in, in the studio and they just start pounding the keys and start writing lyrics and they keep singing them and drinking and coming up with, coming up with the song. I mean, this is how it's done there. Ah, and in the song, it talks about putting your middle finger up in the air and I captured Hudson doing that. And if this song becomes a hit, this photo becomes one of those classic shots in my mind because it's like I was there for the recording and, and, and for the writing of this hit. I really think it's gonna be a strong, strong song when it does come out. Now look closely at this photo. You see Hudson having a glass of wine in his hand as he's singing. You've got the other co-writer in the back. You've got Stefan singing in the left hand of the frame. I mean, it's getting later and I think it's like 10 o'clock at night at this point and everybody is just singing and getting tired and drinking more. And that's why Hudson's just sitting here on a bean bag, which is next to the piano. And I had to get down below the piano, close to the wall to get this shot. But I, I again, the black and white gives this that classic feel. And, and, and Stefan just tired, because now we're probably around midnight. It's getting later into the night. They've been drinking a bunch of bottles of wine. They've been playing, they've been singing. But look at Stefan here. He's tired. He's looking right through the camera and I'm here to capture it. Look, this was a very small studio to shoot in, in this particular area. I had to get behind the piano, between one of the benches, next to where the lights are, and, and just embed myself to get the shots. I had to pre-think about having the right lens on at the right time in order to get the shot and then head down on the piano again. You can see all of the keys pressed because you can see the hammers of the piano with the open front of it just pressed out. Now as we continue, it's later and later. I think we're about two in the morning at this point and we've been there all day. Stefan loves being in the studio. He loves creating. And I love this shot of him sitting at the console late in the day or late in the evening, wine bottles in the background, knobs on the right, the console right in front of you, a nice wide angle shot that helps tell the story. Then I moved around to the side to get this one of Stefan sitting there. It's late in the evening. It's probably one or 2 a.m. at this point, And he's just tired. He drank a lot of wine played a lot of piano, sang a lot of songs. You can see his cameras in the background because he loves photos, he loves shooting videos. And this is where the day was gonna come to a close. But right before I left, Stefan said, you're gonna wanna come back tomorrow because I wanna connect you with the next degree in the line who has sold 11 million copies of their debut album. And if you wanna see that, you're just gonna have to wait to the next episode of Six Degrees of Photography. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.